So this is the random LFO of Bitwig Studio and it's my absolute favorite modulator inside Bitwig Studio because you can do so much with it. It's, um, yeah, it's crazy. So um, we can switch this here to polyphonic mode or to monophonic mode, which means you can utilize this to create multiple different modulations for each voice. So you press a chord and each of these notes of this chord gets a different uh, random value which you can use to modulate something. So maybe um, open up a cutoff or something like this or change the panning for each voice differently. So this is very handy to do with the random mod. Um, in, polyphonic, uh, in monophonic mode, you can see we have this line here. In polyphonic mode, you have to press multiple keys here to see these dots here moving. Um, but in monophonic mode, you have this line here. I can explain it a bit better. So at the top, we have here the speed setting or the rate setting. So when you turn this all the way to the right, you can see we're updating faster all the way to the left. We're updating slower and you can go down all the way to 0 0.02 Hertz, um, which is pretty slow. Um, then we have here the usual division settings, Hertz, kilohertz. You can go up to audio rate. So you can mo audio rate modulate something like cutoff or audio rate modulate the DC offset to create a monophonic synth if you want to. You can also use the bar setting here, which is nice to uh, sequence stuff. So bringing out music over time, or maybe 16 bars or 32 bars, fading in music slowly and fading it out slowly again, randomized, and also um, maybe fading in, fading out FX uh, settings, for instance. So this is nice to sequence stuff over time in a randomized way. And then we have the usual uh, bar division settings here, half note, quarter note, eight note, and so on, dotted. We have also triplets, and we have hold rate of zero. And when you use this, the speed knob becomes disabled, and you have to re-trigger the modulator to get a new value. And you can do this in multiple ways. Uh, the trigger here down below as a pull down, you can choose, for instance, note. So you get the new value only when you put in a note from a note clip or the MIDI keyboard. So you can update this here and you get a new note and it will be held or you can hold this value until, until you press a new note. So this is perfectly nice for, for pads, for instance. So you put this in the polyphonic mode, you switch this to hold you set the trigger to note and then you press a chord. You have multiple notes, of course, in this chord. And each of these notes in this chord gets a different value and you can modify, for instance, the cutoff or the panning. So each of these notes in this chord gets a different synthesizer sound, for instance. So it's very easy to do with this random mod here and with the hold setting. And of course, you hold this modulation with this value until you press a new key. So this is pretty interesting, but uh, maybe I'll explain this later in a small example. Um, back to Hertz here. Then we have the smoothing option here, which means um, we have kind of on the left side here, we have a stepped output quantized signal. You can see it's pretty drastic changes. If you pull this to the right, slowly to the right, we have still a stepped signal, but we have rounded edges and all the way to the right, it's almost like an sign um, rounded smooth signal and it's pretty handy if you want to change between step signal and a smooth signal to modulate something slowly or abruptly kind of so i go back here to the middle setting then we have the feedback here which means if you have this all the way to the right um, nothing really changes in terms of values here you can see it's almost flat out always the same value if you pull this slowly to the left here get small parameter changes over time. So it basically gives you the same value as before, but slightly different, right? So it's not changing that much over time. And if you pull this all the way to the left here and maybe go to stepped, we have almost like always the same signal. You can see it switches between one and zero here, something like this, or 0 0.2 and zero. And if you uh, makes it a bit faster here. You can see it's just an, it's, it behaves like an LFO where you switch between different two different values and that's it. And if you 
well, the smoothing up here, it's almost like a normal sign LFO. And um, yeah, if you change it here slightly to the right, you can see we get now different small little changes there. But it's kind of still repeating. Um, the description here says correlation of successive output values where positive settings trend towards small changes, which is the right setting here, over time. And negative settings can lead to repeating patterns. So if you want to use maybe um, this for melody generator, then you probably want to experiment here with the left side more. Or maybe also with the right side extreme right side so where you have small little changes so it's up to you so with the feedback setting you can influence basically how the randomizing algorithm behaves then we have the amount where you can change of course the modulation amount so you use here the modulator handle modulate something we can also change the modulation amount but then when you set the modulation you can use this amount knob here to dial it down from zero percent to 100 percent of course then we have the bipolar and uh, unipolar setting where you can modulate in the positive range or in the negative range or just only the positive range. So this disabled here would be only modulating in the positive range. Uh, as you can see here, we modulate just from this modulation uh, start here up until the maximum modulation amount. And when you activate here the bipolar setting you can see we can or we go also into the negative range so we have a bipolar setting right negative positive okay um the next setting is here the trigger one so free doesn't synchronize the triggering at all it's just running freely note only updates or re-triggers when uh, you put in a note a note coming in from a note clip or from a midi keyboard and synchronized is basically uh, using the phase signal from the transport. So you have to press play on your on your project and then every time you switch to zero, basically you start with the phase at zero and then you move on. It's not really interesting to have this here with, with the randomizing, with the randomizer because everything is still random, kind of. But in certain contexts, it makes sense, I would guess. Um, okay, I think that's it for this modulator. Maybe I give some examples here um, to show you how it works. Um, so we have here an LFO that just outputs 116 notes uh, modulation. And I use this here to change the volume of the patch, right? Uh, so when I play uh, music or when I play a key on the keyboard, I have some... Some 16 notes uh, playing and then I use here the random mod to change basically the octave of this oscillator so this is just one note and I modulate here the octave and I also switch this here now to 16 notes so every time I fade in here the loudness of the patch I also change the note in the same rate and almost becomes like an appreciator that only modifies the notes in octaves. And now we can um, play around here with the smoothing setting or with the um, feedback setting here. So we pull this all the way to the left. You can see we have this LFO shape here again. Maybe put a delay here on there. Or maybe slow this down into both quarter notes. So you can um, play around with this and just modify here the oscillator in uh, octave steps. So maybe we remove this here. And let's uh, I show you this example I explained before with the hold. So you put this to hold, you put this to note, and then you 
maybe modulate here um what can we modulate that makes sense maybe the panning right so you modulate to the right here 100 percent and then it switches to bipolar because we want to also modulate to the left side not only to the right side um so we put this here into bipolar mode and now we can trigger this here with a note You can see this note gets a panning to the left here because this is still in monophonic mode. Um, maybe that is on, switches to polyphonic mode. So now each note, as so I press multiple keys, so I pressed three notes, and each of these notes is panned differently because we have this random modulator on the panning here. And every time you press three keys, um, this random mod here puts out three different random values, which modulates this panning here. So each voice gets a different panning. So this is very nice to do. And you can also change here, of course, the cutoff, for instance. So each voice in the chord becomes a different or gets a different cutoff setting. And because we have the modulation also on the panning here, you don't know what really happens. So sometimes you have um, three voices on the left side, which all happens to have cutoff down or closed and uh, two voices on the right side with the cutoff all the way open so everything is possible right so you have to make sure that you don't modulate that much so sometimes i just dial in here just a small amount of, of randomization and to bring sounds out more or better that's maybe two You can also use this to detune your oscillators for each voice differently, just by a small amount here. Or maybe use the global pitch. So each of my keys now gets a different cutoff setting, a different panning setting, a different pitch setting, and you can see that it's very powerful actually to use a randomizer here uh, on instruments or fx because um yeah you can tweak the the sound so drastically uh, just by adding small amounts of modulation um from this or sometimes you want to switch this to the monophonic mode smoothing all the way up maybe 16 notes modulation and then you modulate the pitch slightly to get this you know this analog feel for synthesizers where the pitch is not really correct or holds that correct all the time You can hear this is pretty static, right? And then I dial in the modulation of the pitch here for each no voice. So instead of this, this is the original sound, pretty static, nothing happens at all. To this. So it's pretty powerful to use this random mod on all kinds of presets or patches. 
And um, yeah, that's a random mod for you.